This is Top of the Pops, the show that brings you the best on the British scene. And at this point, we hear again from the Kinks with a song which was on an EP here, but which, as Pete Quave told us, is a hit single in the States. A well-respected man. Cause he gets up in the morning And he goes to work at night And he comes back home at 5.30 It's the same train every time Cause his work is good for the it never fails And he's all so good And he's all so fine And he's all so healthy
in the front of the five seat pod. And then please make sure you know where your name card is. Thank you. Please come to the front of the stage, please, Aaron Park.
Welcome parents, students, staff, and special guests to Robert C. Fistler's 17th promotion ceremony. My name is Dr. Kimberly Benra, the principal of Robert C. Fistler School, the home of the Navigators. It is my honor and privilege to serve as the principal of this amazing school. I am so thankful to the Fullerton School District for making this promotion possible. This school year is one that we will never forget and I'm extremely proud of all our students. I'd like to take this moment to introduce our Assistant Superintendent of Personnel Services, Dr. Chad Hammett, Fullerton Education Foundation member, Ellen Ballard, and our Fistler staff, Mr. Rebe, Mrs. Rounds, Mr. Stava, Mrs. Coda, Mrs. Shave, Mrs. Kim, Miss Ellison, Miss McIntosh, Mrs. Gallardo, Mrs. Anderson, and Mrs. Beecher. Kastuv Arial and Jennifer Kim, our current ASB presidents, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our eighth graders were given the opportunity to write an essay about promotion and what it means to them. Two students were selected to present their message today. Please welcome our first speaker, Caitlin Nguyen, who will read her essay titled, Our Pathways. On this day, we celebrate the promoting class of 2020 to 2021 of Robert C. Fisher School. This year has been quite crazy due to the pandemic, but it was one of the most memorable and enjoyable years that I've had here. Although there are many things that we did not get to do in eighth grade, we made and shared many new memories throughout the years and through distance learning. It's been a particularly rough year, but I'm remarkably proud of everyone for pushing through, being persistent, and staying strong through this year. As we are taking another step towards our bright future and reaching our dreams, I've come to see how impactful the Fistler community has been on my path to success. Robert C. Fistler is not only a school, but a family, willing to support and guide us through our road to the future. Throughout the nine years that I've been a part of this community, it's easy to see that all the teachers are so willing to help, the students are determined to learn, and the parents are always providing support. I would like to thank my wonderful classmates and peers for supporting me and making these years incredible. Although I might not know everybody personally, no matter where your path continues to take you, I'm glad that ours met here. I wish that the promoting class of 2020 to 2021 will find themselves happiness and joy through your next journey. A quote from the poem Mother to Son by Langston Hughes says, don't you sit down on the step because you find it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now, for I still go in, honey, I still climb in, and life for me ain't been no crystal stair. There are more obstacles to come in the future, but I know that everybody here will do well, and I can say that with confidence. Once you're a part of the Fistler family, you always will be. One of my most favorite memories from Fistler was the sixth grade science camp. I still remember it like it was yesterday. The hikes we went on, the archery that we did, the two minute showers, and especially having to wait in front of the building in the hot sun before we got to eat. I, I truly hope that you all will remember the amazing memories we shared here and make beautiful new ones in the future. I would also like to thank the Fistler staff and teachers for being so supportive and caring. They are always willing to help and have been huge contributors to our development, both academically and emotionally. 
Without them, I would not be who I am now. Lastly, I would also like to thank my parents for rooting for me through all these years. I'm so glad that I have such caring people around me wherever I go. And I hope that all of the eighth grade will step into high school with big dreams and a hopeful mind. Please remember that we will always be cheering for you no matter where you go. Thank you. <laughs> Please welcome our next speaker, Sienna Shaw, who will read her essay titled, Dancing in the Rain. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Vivian Green, a quote that perfectly embodies this school year. Our last year as Sisler Navigators was full of surprises and disappointments. We were only adjusting to life during a global pandemic, and then there came school. We did our best to make the most of a year full of uncertainty and distance learning, despite knowing that all of the activities and fun we looked forward to for so long were canceled. We stood together and helped each other to make the most of our eighth grade year, even from a distance. This year was a storm full of cancellations, fear, and no longer seeing our family and friends. In a time of despair where nobody knew what they were going to do, we did not wait for the storm to pass. Instead, we decided to dance in the rain. We did all that we could to make the most of our eighth grade year through distance learning. Whether it was taking eighth grade promotion pictures, a memory book, or a promotion ceremony, we learned to appreciate the activities and opportunities we were given rather than focusing on what we missed. We cherished memories we made, had, and we looked forward to making new ones in high school. This year was certainly not easy without anything to look forward to knowing that we missed out on the best year of Sisler. It was hard hearing what usually happens in eighth grade and all that we were missing. However, we took all that we had and made the most of it because the class of 2021 navigators does not wait for the storm to pass. We walk right into it and learn to dance in the rain. To many of us, Sisler was a part of our lives for nine years and to be leaving it behind is bittersweet. We walked in here nine years ago, scared and unsure of what to expect. However, through the guidance of our teachers and the phenomenal staff at Fistler, we were able to find a place for ourselves here and make everlasting memories. Although this year was nothing like we expected, it was a year we will never forget because of the exceptional teachers who made this year possible and our commitment to learning. I want to thank everyone here at Fistler for supporting us throughout our time here as a navigator because without you, we would have never learned to dance in the rain and come together during the rough times to make it to the good times. Please join me in welcoming Ellen Ballard up to the stage representing the Fullerton Education Foundation. Students, when your name is called, please stand so we can recognize you from your seat. Well, thank you very much. Um, I was on, before I tell you what I'm going to tell you, I have to give you a personal comment. I was on the school board a few years ago when this was a pile of dirt and it was the dream of the Fullerton School District to have a junior high school at this site. I cannot tell you the number of meetings and proposals and drawings we saw of this school. And finally, it was chosen as it is today, the Fistler School, which I am so proud of. And every time I walk in the front door, I see my name on a plaque, which is way cool. So I like that part, too. So now I'll tell you why I'm here. So I'll start. Good morning. And this is a great morning for all of you. I'm Ellen Ballard. I am a board member now of the Fullerton Education Foundation. For the last 18 years, this is going to be very important for me to see what I'm doing. For the last 18 years, the Fullerton Education Foundation has been committed to building dynamic community partnerships to support the Fullerton School District. Being a vital part of the community enables us to provide essential services, resources, and enrichment opportunities for, to every student in the district. This year, Fistler students were able to participate in STEM Nation and Fullerton Fest through money supplied by the Fullerton Education Foundation. I thank each of you 
who have donated to enrich the educational experiences of our students. So a few years back, the Fullerton Education Foundation created a student board member program. We wanted to encourage students to be future leaders. I don't think we could have ever imagined how this group of students would transform our entire foundation board and the significant impact they would make in support of our school district. Their unique perspectives help drive educational discussions among um, district leaders, corporate and civic leaders too. Even in this difficult year, they helped the foundation raise over $55,000 to the Fullerton School District, and we helped needy families suffering from COVID-19. These two individual students inspire us by their honest perspectives. Their votes made an impact on opportunities for all students in the district. Please help me in celebrating our 2021 Fullerton Education Foundation participants, Annabelle Kim, Where's Annabelle? Annabelle, could you kind of just come forward a little bit? Okay. And also, uh, ooh, Kastruv Ariel. Where's Kastruv? Oh, you're right here. Come on up. So for your efforts, the foundation and I would like to give you our thanks and present to you a certificate and a gift card. And I wish you the very, very best success in high school. I know you will be amazing. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Beecher, who will recognize the Rotary Club recipients. Good morning. Hello, Robert C. Fisser School, Class of 2021. Um, I am Mrs. Beecher, the Assistant Principal. I'm here to announce the recipients of the Rotary Club of Fullerton's Distinguished 2021 Outstanding Student Award. Only 22 eighth graders across the district are receiving this award. Rotary is an international service organization that serves local and com global communities to eradicate poverty and diseases and promote basic needs such as health and education. There are over 35,000 Rotary Clubs in over 160 countries around the world, with over 1.2 million members worldwide. For decades, the Fullerton Rotary Club has recognized our local high schools, top 100 students, sponsored high school juniors to attend RYLA, a student leadership program, partnered with our local high schools, Interact Clubs, and our local colleges, Rotaract Clubs. They do this and more to create service initiatives that will benefit youth and families across the Fullerton community. We encourage today's graduates to strive to earn top 100 status in high school, to attend RYLA when you have the chance, and to consider joining your high school's Interact Club, eventually to join your college's Rotaract Club, and eventually again to join your city's Rotary Club. For to truly be in service of our community, let us be in service to one another. For those of you accompanying today's graduates who may be interested in joining our city's Rotary Club today to be in service of our community and schools, you can go to FullertonRotaryClub.com. Your teachers have identified the following students as exemplifying the qualities of high scholarship achievement, integrity, initiative, leadership skills, participation in school activities, compassion, and being good all-around individuals. It is my honor to present our 2021 Outstanding Student Awards to Matthew Ma and Annabelle Kim. Would you please stand up to be recognized? Where's Matthew? Ah, Matthew, good job. Yes, good job. Thank you very much. And your awards and, um, are in your bag, okay? Thank you. Every year, each class continues their strength, contributes their strengths to our school. We also value each student for his or her own strengths and talents. Can I please have the teachers come up to the stage? 
We will now recognize a few of those students, beginning with the President's Education Award. Students, when your name is called, please stand so we can recognize you from your seating location. The President's Education Award is signed by President Biden for students who received a 4.0 for the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade year and received Principal's Honor Roll for those three years. If you hear your name, students, please stand. Annabelle Kim, Jennifer Kim, Derek Sun, Christine Yu, and Joshua Yun. Now, each teacher will come up and give a specific award to their content area. Good morning, everyone. First, first and foremost, uh, congratulations to the class of 2021. I'm very proud of you, and I wish you a lot of luck in high school. Uh, I'm going to present the math award. My name is Mr. Uribe, and I'm presenting the award to a student who always shows great critical thinking, uh, enthusiastic about math, and just overall a great student. And that student is Joshua Yoon. Congratulations, Joshua. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Coda, and I teach social studies here at Fistler. There are so many students here at Fistler that work very diligently and hard. It is very difficult to choose just one student to earn an award. Therefore, I have tried to be very unbiased and have decided to award the student with the highest average grade across all three trimesters this year. For a student to earn an extremely high grade in social studies requires daily dedication to their learning. This student turns in their assignments on time and their assignments show thoughtfulness and thoroughness. This student prepares and studies for the tests. This student also contributes to class discussions and read alouds. The student asks questions and shows reliability, dedication, and the desire to learn. The Social Studies Award goes to Sienna Shaw. Good morning and congratulations. You've had a long journey and you have accomplished it with um, pride and persistence and I'm just so proud of all of you. Congratulations. I'm uh, Mrs. Rounds, the science teacher, and I'm here to present the Science Award sponsored by the Fistler Foundation for the Advancement of Science and Technology. And each year, um, they award a science uh, person and a person outstanding in technology. So thank you, FAST. That's our very own foundation, by the way. Um, this person is um, an enthusiastic student, hardworking, dedicated, um, participates in class. But what stands out to me is a passion. She has a passion in everything that she does and she um, easily could have won an award for any subject, but um, I got to choose her. So congratulations to Isrella Chang. Can you stand up? There she is right over there, congratulations. Love you guys too. All right, so I've been on the board of that foundation for 10 years now, and I still can't remember like all the, the words in the right order. So what Miss Round said, um, <laughs> this is part of that same foundation. And by the way, the students who um, received the uh, Science and Technology Award, their names are engraved on this trophy that stays up in the office so you can come back years from now and you can see your name still being a part of Fistler. 
All right, so I had the same problem as all the other teachers do. We have so many outstanding students here at Robert C. Pfister School. We really do have the best group of kids in the district, I believe. Um, they're all wonderful users of technology, not just consumers of technology, but they have an understanding of it and they're learning to contribute to it as well. The student that I've chosen does all of that, but he also, whoops, I just let it go. There. I just got half the people are out of the running. He does it with a grace of spirit, um, an enthusiasm, a kindness, and a willingness to like step up when, hey, I need, s I need a student to come and, and do something, you know to come and help us out with Robot Nation or whatever it is we were doing, he was always willing to do that. And that student's name was Derek Sun. <laughs> He's standing. <laughs> He's behind the basketball pole. And I would just like to personally say thank you for so many wonderful years uh, here at Fistler School. So. The Robert C. Fistler Award is given to our two top students each year for their consistent work ethic and ability to shine in all subject areas. Students, when I call your name, please stand. This year, the honor goes to Jennifer Kim and Ethan Tam. Congratulations. We would like to recognize one more person before we present the certificates and that is to Mr. Stava. <laughs> Mr. Stava is retiring this year, and Mrs. Rounds and Mr. Chris Montavo, president of the Fistler Foundation, would like to present Mr. Stava with a gift and thanks for his years of service to the Fast Forward. Hi, everyone. First of all, congratulations to all the graduates and to all the parents who pushed your kids to do great. Um, as you know, Mr. Sapa is uh, retiring, as uh, we just mentioned. And uh, <coughs> Fistler is not only losing a great teacher, but we're also losing a great volunteer. As he mentioned, he's been on the board for about 10 years. And uh, in addition to spending countless hours teaching and doing work at school, he also joined us for additional fun at the foundation. <coughs> um, we all have that story of a teacher who inspired us or who saw something in us that uh, we didn't see in ourselves. And Mr. Stava did that for all of our students. He inspired us and uh, he made us realize that we have love in addition to things like um, social studies and math. Uh, he made us realize we also love photography and programming and all kinds of different subjects. So for that, from the bottom of our, of our hearts, we want to say thank you, Mr. Stava, and we want to present you with a, a small gift from the Fistler Foundation uh, Board. I just wanted to um, say thanks. And I couldn't have done all of that stuff without my, my wife is in the back of the room or the thing. She never complained. She never said, well, why come you have to go to another board meeting? Um, <laughs> she's been awesome. And, and I would not have be the teacher I am today without her. So thanks. Now it's time to present the promotion certificates. We thank you in advance for your help with maintaining a respectful ceremony. We kindly ask that you refrain from whistling, yelling, or blowing air horns so that families can hear their child's name. Additionally, we want to remind you that each family would like to have an unobstructed view of their promoting student. Families, we will pause for pictures as students walk across the stage. You may want to come down the aisle to take pictures of that time. Only move up when your child is about to receive his or her promotion certificate. Please go back to your seat when you're finished. That will allow others to be take pictures of their child. Students, Miss Ellison she's over there. <laughs> will notify you when it's time for your row to stand up. Students, please follow Mr. Stava once you get down from the stage to form a socially distanced you. 
Thank you again for your assistance with making this ceremony a special event for all our families. For the presentation of the promotion certificates, which you will get down there, um, Dr. Hammett will help support and congratulate you. Now students, please make sure you have your index card. William Sabil. Up the stairs. Dominic Marmaleo. <laughs> Alexander Chow. Jennifer Kim. <laughs> Costuve Arial. Caitlin Nguyen. Sienna Shaw. Nicole Lee. Sarah Kang. Israela Chang. <laughs> Alyssa Branches. Monica Escobar. <laughs> Ariana Markey. Dylan Serino. <laughs> Malachi Yoon.
Christopher Ito. William Song. Ethan Tam. Sophia Ku <laughs> Matthew Ma Preston Stoker. <laughs> Dallin Stoker. Samia Khan. Brooklyn Reyes. Celine Massimo. <laughs> Chloe Chang. Sewan Han. <laughs> Alicia Yoon. Rylan Rocco. Max Yu. Jasper Chow. Jisoo yeah. Yu.
Nathaniel Modesto. Justin Kang. Logan Woolley. Jermaine Lee. Lauren Bromley. Jaden Kim. <laughs> Jacob Kang. Alina Lee. Zoe Angus. Derek Sun. Isaac Lee. Kevin Chung. Daniel Lee. Lily Zhao. He Young Moon. Steven Buncio. Karina Leon. Sua Chai. Ava Park.
Christine Cho. <laughs> Annabelle Kim. Tess Yoon. Emily Moon. Justin Pack. David Nam Mire Lee Jane Kim Jessica Rivas Celine Ha Calista Wong Jonathan Rowe Amy Wan David Kim Nathan Lim Jason Joe Joshua Yoon Jenny No Felipe Co. Oscar Yin. Aaron Beck.
Brandon Hahn. Sophia Peng. Yoon Kim. John Hong. Amy Hong. Matthew Yoon. <laughs> Abigail Hong. For the light. Joshua Vega. Dylan M. It's for the light. Ellie Kwok. The live stream. Hi. Hannah Wan. Christine Yu. For the live stream. William Gim. Victoria Ree. Sean Yo. Allen Park. Samuel Park. Teo Jung. Hiwu Jong K 
Kayleen Lee. <laughs> Aiden Park. Ryan Choi. Daniel Gu. Aaron Park. Aiden Fanning. You go and I'll get them in. at That's the end, cool. and okay. I'll tell Susan to cut to you so we can see that you have the right angle. Oh, that was the last one. It's Fistler tradition that after uh, the promotion, the students make a U. So please take a look at your student right now. As you're ending your education journey at Fistler, I want you to remember that once a navigator, always a navigator. A navigator is a person who directs the route or course moving forward in exploration of the unknown. A navigator is a person who travels through difficult situations and finds a way to get safely through. This class is the epitome of what it means to be a navigator. You have traversed through a challenging year and have successfully prevailed. This promoting class has shown how resilient you are throughout the pandemic. You have all mastered social distancing, wearing masks, navigating Zoom, and being creative with staying connected with your friends and loved ones. I'm confident that with the resilience you have shown this year will guide you into being a successful in high school and beyond. I can't promise you that life will always be easy, predictable, or fair, but I can promise you that your years at Fistler has equipped you with the tools to a bright future. My wish for all of you as you head into the next phase of your life is that you continue to grow and learn as a scholar, friend, and contributing member of society. Your work until now has laid the foundation for your future successes. You all have the potential to be anything and everything you wanna be. I hope you all continue to show KSRR as you approach any new challenge. You have the ability to face it head on and navigate your way through. I'm so proud of all of you and wish you all the best in the years to come. Congratulations to the promoting class of 2021. Now we have Mrs. Beecher. Um, since we founded the school in 2004, the first graduating class of 2006, we started a tradition. Um, and so I usually will be singing a song to the graduating class. So I thought I would do that for you today because you have been such a resilient class and you're so amazing. And so I want to um, just celebrate you. So I hope this brings you a little bit of joy.
your sense of wonder. You get your fill to eat, but always keep that hunger. And may you never take one single breath for granted. And God forbid love ever leave you empty handed. I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. And promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. I hope you. I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance. You never settle for the path of least resistance. And living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. And loving might be a mistake, but it's worth making. Don't let some well-meant heart leave you bitter. If you come close to selling out, reconsider. And give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. I hope you dance. I hope you dance. I hope you dance. I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. Whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. And promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, dance, I hope you dance. Congratulations, class of 2021. Distinguished guests and families, let's give another congratulation applause to our class of 2021. Congratulations. <laughs> Students, please give a round of applause for your parents and families who have supported you throughout your school years. This concludes our 2021 eighth grade promotion ceremony. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful summer. Parents, as you exit, please feel free to take photos.